Okay, <clears throat> this is about this new um, coating uh, put on produce um, and whether or not you should eat it. And from what I've read about it, my advice is don't eat it. And here's the reason why. It's invisible, odorless, tasteless, so you can't see it necessarily. You can't taste it or smell it. Um, it's sometimes preceded by the word edible or some variation on that phrase. Um, supposedly the reason for it is to increase the shelf life of produce. But, and here are some of the big funders of it, the big BG, um, and some of these other persons here. It's going to be in some, it's already in some of the big stores. It's been in stores since at least June, probably longer, but at least June from what I've seen. Um, avocados are a common thing it's on. Um, sometimes it'll have a sticker, but it doesn't always have a sticker. I'll show you what one of the stickers looks like. There are plans to spray it on a whole wide variety of fruits and vegetables, and, and this includes organic. It's been approved, and it's allowed on organic. So this is very sad. I'm very sad to give this video because the basic point here is that um, plant food is being destroyed, okay? Um, it cannot be washed off, uh, apparently. No matter what you do, apparently you cannot remove it from the product. It somehow got a grass label, meaning generally regarded as safe. If you look at the FDA summary sheet, it says that it is allowed to contain um, a lot of things, but here's just three of the worst ones. Something called acetonitrile. I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. It's a brain toxin. Toluene, brain toxin. Hexane, brain toxin. And heavy metals, brain toxins. Okay? Um, so... I would say if you can, try to make friends with a farmer and see if you can get food from them directly and avoid this stuff. Grow your own food. Please, if you know how to avoid this stuff, uh, send me an email so I can learn about it. In the meantime, be very careful about what you eat. Um, it's a, these are, sound like these are chronic slow toxins, probably medium speed, I'm going to guess. I don't know for sure, but I'll show you the chemical ingredients, some of the chemical ingredients in this stuff. Okay, so we'll just start out with two of these neurotoxins here. Let me clear myself off of here. Okay, hexane is a known neurotoxin. And hexane is used most commonly to extract oils from soybeans, okay? That's one of the reasons why soy um, is a bad food. Okay, um, it's used also for cleaning of textile products, furniture, and shoes. <laughs> It uses glues, okay, in sh making shoes and roofing, okay? I mean, that's something you want to eat for, for making rubber cement. Is that really something you want to eat? Oh, gee, and, and uh, I'm a bad boy for saying that soy is a bad food. <laughs> Listen to the, I can't believe soy is, you know, people think soy is a good food. Okay, let's continue with hexane. It's known to be associated with polyneuropathy, nerve damage in humans, muscular weakness, blurred vision, headaches, and fatigue, okay? Neurotoxic effects have also been exhibited in rats. Okay, so that's hexane, you know, and th this is, you know, pub chem. This is like as official as it gets for the stats on a chemical. Now let's take a look at toluene. And I have read articles over the years about these things being neurotoxins. This is nothing new. I'm just letting you know these are allowed to be in this new product, this new fruit and vegetable coating. Okay, now we're talking about toluene, also known as methylbenzene. Um... Central nervous system is the primary target for its toxicity. Great. Um, what are some of the side effects associated? Fatigue, sleepiness, headaches, nausea, central nervous system depression, um, developmental effects, including central nervous system dysfunction. That means brain damage, okay? Attention deficit disorder, attention deficits, minor cranial facial abnormalities and limb abnormalities, in pregnant women exposed to this stuff. I think this stuff used to be in liquid paper. So anyways, all right, and I haven't even shown you the, the, the worst stuff yet. It gets worse. Okay, and by the way, here's what these stickers can look like. There's one of the little stickers for it right there. Um, now here's this other one, acetonitrile. Okay, acetonitrile. Okay, that, that name doesn't sound so bad, but when you take a closer look at it, how about its other name? Methyl cyanide. That is not a misstatement. Methyl cyanide, okay? <laughs> Methyl cyanide, okay? That's been put on your food, and that's been labeled as generally regarded as safe. I don't think so. I would never eat this willingly, knowingly. Um, it's primarily found in automobile exhaust. Oh, that's reassuring. 
That's the other thing too. I know some people who will just warm up their car forever and sit there talking next to it. And I know these people and I told them they're stupid. And they look at me like, ah, oh, what do you know? Yeah, I'm just a brain doctor for decades who studies this stuff all the time. What would I know? Don't sit there next to your exhaust pipe talking by your car. Just because you're outside doesn't mean you're inhaling some of this stuff. Okay, this is toxic to your mitochondria. This is a very toxic substance. So, and here it is again. It says right here in the summer sheet, acetonitrile is a chemical compound of cyanide. Okay, now do you really want to be eating that? So I would uh, try to find out where this is caused. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, you know, boycott this stuff. Don't eat this stuff. Uh, I just want to let you know about it. So it's not just kind of bad. It's really bad. I would never, ever knowingly eat this stuff.